back. Spring and summer meals are all about enjoying seasonal fresh fruits and veggies. And now that the weather's getting warmer, you don't have to go inside a grocery store to find those good eats. So joining us now is Nicole Jarman with the South Pearl Street Farmers Market. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Thank you. So basically everything just got started a little bit earlier this month. How did that go and what can newcomers expect at this market? Oh my gosh, we opened May Day. So mm -hmm. May 1st, um, it was incredible. It was like crowds I've never seen, um, support I've never seen. Newcomers can expect it completely full street, 160 vendors, um, really anything you, you're looking for. <laughs> That's awesome. You brought some of the things that people I, yes. can enjoy as well. Yeah, and can you also talk about the importance of supporting local farmers and some of the unique offerings that you guys have at the market? I mean, as you were just saying, as we talk about the weather, I mean, supporting mm -hmm. our farming is not only physically tough, but oh my gosh, as you're dealing with rain or no rain or too much rain or too much wind, um, when it's so, so hard for them. But local agriculture is so important too. Um, so supporting them is, I mean, you're supporting a small family business, but also supporting the well-being of our, our state mm -hmm. and, and the agriculture here. Yeah, so you were just talking about, you know, the importance of supporting our, our local vendors. So some people watching this, like me, might be interested in eating the food at the farmer's market. <laughs> Other people might be interested in selling it. So what is the experience like for the vendors? I mean, it is truly, truly a small business incubator. Anybody who's starting a, a new, wants to try grandma's recipe, you get firsthand feedback and knowledge and get to, get to talk with your customers um, for real time real-time feedback to, to kind of tweak and change. So. And, and South Pearl Street not only has this farmer's market, but you guys also have events on the first Friday of each month. Can you tell us about those? Yes, it's a, it's a really vibrant time to be on South Pearl Street. So um, there's little pockets of music and entertainment on the street and actually like in parking lots throughout the weekend or throughout Fridays and um, businesses and galleries and boutiques are open late. The doors are open. It's buzzing. It's a good time to be there. Amazing. Can you tell us about some of the items that you oh brought? Gosh, yeah. I, so I have a I have a goal that for the next month I'm not going to go to the grocery store. Okay. So I think I think you truly can wow. get by. So um, we've got some great microgreens um, here um, that are beautiful. Honey um, from Bjorn's Honey. Some bone broth. I don't know if anybody's doing bone broth for their collagen, but we've got really beautiful bone broth <laughs> and for cooking. Um, Himmins pies. Um, uh, and and you can even find wine. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> the, something as you just said just made me kind of think of like I don't know, like a farmers market challenge or something like that, or just you know trying to make sure that you buy local for those things that that we like to have to eat at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you like tortillas and salsas and hot sauces. You can really find it all. So that's my that's my challenge to myself. Love it for a month, no grocery store. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Thank you so much for sharing. All this food looks great. Again, the South Pearl Street Farmers Market is open each Sunday. It's from 9 to 1. The season ends in November. You can find it in the 14 and 1500 blocks of South Pearl Street. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.